is not less than a small fry, it is exactly the same as a small fry. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Go in the base, they're not looking. He's not looking. He is slacking. I'm in the base. Low, low. Is that guy going? He's going down. I'm in the base, all alone. They're not looking. <laughs> this way. Come on, guys. This way. Let's go! Let's go! Someone's super jumping to me! Let's go! Base invasion has begun. Oh yes! Look at all that paint I'm able to put out with the with the air spray. Okay, two of them are gonna respawn. They're not looking though. They're not looking. What are they gonna do? Oh, they're gonna jump up, huh? Can he's dead? Let's go. No, 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 I'm escaping, I'm escaping. No, 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 okay, okay, he's dead, he's dead. Let's go, oh yeah. Oh, no, 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 okay, they're coming on me, they're coming on me. Okay. Fuck, 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 I missed my... My the shark guy. No, no, he was looking! <laughs> I didn't kill him. Oh, can you kill him? Can you do it? Can he actually do it? Oh, no. Oh no, we're just gonna- <gasps> I got him from behind, let's go, booyah! I am proud of you. That guy was playing hide and seek like a pro! Like, okay, I got him there, I got him back. I'm not doing anything correctly. Okay Google, thank you for telling me my information, but I, I don't need it right now. Communication error has occurred. Oh, that's because uh, oh no way. That means we didn't get the points It's, it's just like it's a communication error. But it's not like oh communication error because teammates it's just like fuck you servers are over Get out of there Okay <gasps> Yo, wait, is that a new animation? No way. Wait, 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 hold on. That was a new animation. That was a new animation. Where she's like calling someone and then she's like getting really mad. That's new. Wait, no. Wait, 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 wait. I'm pretty sure I saw her get mad. No, hold on, hold on. Hold up. Hold the phone. The literal phone. Yes, she's on a call. She's getting angry. Look at this. Look at this. It's so cool. Why? Why did I never see that before? That's that's like that's new. I thought they were only like getting on their phones and like taking selfies maybe once in a while, but no, they're taking calls with them. That's cool. Well, anyways, let us take a look at the patch notes uh, real quick. So, uh, uh, so what is? What is the next thing we've got? Dynamo big swing. Oh, big swing. To me. No way! Buff to the damage of the big- No way! Hold on! Now you're telling me it's a- it's a, it's, it's- Wait, 30 plus 30? Yeah, okay, so it was a- It was a four-shot weapon, unless, like, you're really close, and in case it does, like, more damage, but now it's, like, um, at minimum, at the very minimum, if you hit, like, three shots, or, like, three uh, horizontal shots from far away, it's gonna kill in three shots, minimum. Which is fucking insane. So instead of like having 30, 30, 30, and then you're at 90 damage and you still need one, it's like 35, 35, you're at 70, 35 again, boom, you're at 105. It's very cool. It combos with more stuff then. Right? Like you can combo with like other teammates doing, doing that. It's very nice, very nice. And I, I guess like, let's think of it because... 
Okay, okay, let me actually pick the big swig. Uh, big swig is somewhere close, because I use the weapon kind of a lot. Maybe somewhere? Come on, big swig's gotta be in here. Oh, okay, I missed it, it's here. So, 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 the big swig does 30 damage. I mean, no, here it does 70. But basically, the deal was, you can kill someone by doing, like, 30, and then you get closer and you do the 70. So, if, if you're, like... If you're right close to someone, you do 70, and then you can kill, kill them with the other shot, no matter where you are. So like, 70, wait, oops, whoops, 70, and then 30, and that, that works. But now, basically, it's like, even if you do, like, not the full 70, and then you got 35... 35 would combo basically if you do 65, which seems pretty hard to do, so you're probably not gonna do that actually. Um, never mind then. Wait, hold on. That is supposed to do 40 damage and the. 40 plus 2. Nah, it doesn't actually change the combos too much. Because you can still do like one vertical, I mean horizontal. Wait, no, wait, wait, anyways, one long range, and then two short range, and that will kill, because it's like 40, and then 30, and 30 again. Um, so it doesn't actually change the combos, it's just like, if you're close to, I mean, if, if you're just like spamming like this, right, you're gonna kill in three shots. So here, like, it, it didn't even kill the person. After like three shots, the person is probably already running away, very far from you, there's no way you're killing them. That basically just improves if you're like spamming over someone. That will make it more of a threat, right? Because usually, one cool thing that you can do with the big swig is that it paints a lot, so you can just, like, get up there. And let me just clean up the map real quick, like that. And so, like, there's someone moving below, and you can just do that. And look at all the ink it's managing to fire very far. Like, that's a pretty annoying amount of ink to go through. And if you're, like, receiving that on your head, like, you're, you're gonna die at some point, so you don't really want to stay too long, but also you can kind of stay, like, kind of, not too long, but, like, you kind you, you're not too pressed to move out, because, like, four shots, that's a long thing, but then three shots, now, now we're talking a little bit more, now, now you're more pressured to get out of there, because, like, one, two, and you're dead, um, so you're like, oh, 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 shit, I need to get out. Um, so yes, that is my two cents on it. It's, it's better for, for basically the thing that the big swig likes to do, which is painting over people's head. That's that's the best thing. And it doesn't really change the rest, which I think is fair, because I think the, the big swig, I like it how it is. I like, the, I like the damage combos. That's very fun to do. It's very hard to get killed with it, but that's the point. It's not supposed to get killed, but it's so fun when you manage to still get killed with it. Let me read chat. It's a shame that they didn't also buff the max damage, but minimum damage was what was much needed to Yes. I don't I don't think Honestly, if you buff the max damage, you basically make the weapon into more more viable for killing, which is not the point. I mean so well. I, I wouldn't want it to get buffed for killing and then like, okay, but now it's too good at killing. Let's unbuff the painting. That's what's fun about it. The paint's so good, it's so Look at this bullshit. Look at this. This is this is not even logical, but it's it's great. Uh, also, you get damage combos like this. It's it's so cool. It's like the weapon cannot like hurt a fly, but if you're close to someone, you can do some sick tricks like this, and that's cool. That's fun. I like that. And also, you can one shot like this, and that's fun and hard. Anyways, enough of me ranting about the about the big swig and me liking it yeah so yeah i think buffing the minimum damage that's basically a fix to it being like basically people can't be like oh but the weapon can only four shot people it's so bad now you're like no it's a minimum three shot so people have to respect it a little bit more <laughs> they can't say oh it's a four shot weapon no shut up now it's a three shot weapon <clears throat> so yes what is the next thing on the line hold on whoop okay the next thing on the line is the Bamboozler 14 MK1. Reduced ink consumption by about 17%. Not bad. Not bad. Let me check. Okay, seeing you test it out made me realize how impactful the Big Swig buff will help. 
will be helps it poke to make it to make up for no sub what do you mean no sub i mean okay the sub doesn't attack but the sub does what it's supposed to do i mean okay and we're not gonna get into a whole big sweet thing but it, it's it has a sub all weapons have a sub and this sub works super well with the big swing the big swing is it's like you, you know what you, you want me to tell you something you want me to tell you something you know why i love the big swing so much because i'll tell you why i love the big swing so much I, do you know the tentabrilla in Splatoon 2, you had a kit where you had the splash wall and the um, the freaking sub where you could like spam the the little curling bombs. And imagine you get in a tight corridor, right? Because like see a tight corridor like this, you had plenty of those on flanks on Splatoon 2 maps. So imagine you've got a tentabrilla that has a big shield and then you can like throw a wall. And then you can like spam the curling bombs and then have another shield, another wall. And then by the time you do that, you have yet another set of like spammable curling bombs. That's impossible to get through. And that's very fun. And I love to abuse that that stuff. And now in Splatoon 3, the, the, the tentabrellas aren't really as useful because people can move around way more and the maps are way more flat and people can get around your shield. And here you got the big swig coming in as a drop-in replacement because it's while it's not quite a wall in the same sense as the Tentabrilla shield is, it's it's a pretty big wall of paint if you see what I mean. That's like if you fire just one shot, then people are gonna struggle to get to you. And then you got a literal wall, and then you got the best next thing uh, that is a replacement for the curling bomb spam, which is that thing. Which is also supposed to block people from coming in. So this weapon is an all-in annoyer of people that are trying to get in on you. It's like it can hold down spots very well. Probably, m maybe not as well as the the, the incline. I th wait, was it incline? I don't know the name of the brand, but like the you know the Tentabrella Sorella. So it's probably not as good as holding down at holding down spot as that weapon was, but it's pretty down close and it's very fun. So yes, it has it has a sub. It has it's good. I love it. Um. Anyways, go back to to the bamboozer. Uh, specifications for some sub weapons have changed. Oh, angle shooter. Ooh, is it a buff or is it a nerf? Damage ha damage has been increased from thirty to thirty five. Hmm. Yes. The radius of ink coverage when, ter when striking terrain or opponents has been roughly doubled. What? So it's cha it changes from nothing to nothing but the double? <laughs> <laughs> it's the double of nothing. No way. That's like so much nothing. That it, well, like... Does it does it actually paint anything substantial? Let me I mean let me let me try, I guess. But uh, like, ho hold up, am I missing something? <laughs> okay, so we got. That's that's like nothing. What do you, what do you mean roughly doubled? I mean, doubled as in, in one direction or doubled as in like two directions? Because if it's in like two directions, then. Okay, if it's in one direction, then that means that's kind of what it's going to look like then, right? That's still pretty big. But if it doubled, that's a splat bomb. Wait, that doesn't make sense. No, okay, I think it's going to... Okay, okay, okay. So maybe... Okay, okay, I get I get it, I get it. I, I, I think I got it. So it's basically... It's, it's basically going to be like something... Kinda like, kinda like this, and basically it's like, oh no, I'm being shot. I'm, I'm, I'm in the struggle, and now you can like paint at your feet and just like jump away, which is cool. And I, I don't know if it, I think it costs the same as a burst bomb. So it's basically for the same price as a burst bomb, you get a micro burst bomb, which kind of allows you to get away. And then you do some damage and some some marking, and now it does more damage as well. Not bad, not bad. 
Um, so yeah, because people were saying, oh, what if it did something like the torpedo, where it actually uh, paints your feet when you throw one? And, I mean, I, I don't know if it really makes sense. Um, but I guess they kind of did, okay, we're, we're gonna make you able to paint your feet if you want to. But it's not like... And you know what? You Okay, you know what? I was gonna say, like... Oh yeah, you're not gonna be able like to aim at enemies and also paint your feet. But actually, fuck that, because you can you can just do this, and it still aims forward if you aim down. So like, the the real question is, is there any reason to aim forward when you can always be doing this? I mean, okay, sure, it's it's way harder to aim. So yeah, you got your point. But you can you can you can you can you can do that. That works. Um. So okay, okay, pretty. Interesting buff to the angle shooter Ma makes it more. I, I I like these buffs. They're basically just wrink wrinkling out the little wrinkles. They're like g making stuff less. They're not changing how things work. They just buff the things that are the worst about them. Um. Da -da -da -da. So specifications from some special weapons have changed. Uh, tactical, ooh, tacticals, quick respawn, and special saver will no longer be negated by gear, abilities, respawn, punisher, and haunt, ooh, 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 so that makes it consistent, it doesn't make it, like, weird, it's like, oh, I popped the special, I am now, not, I mean, you're not invincible, but it's like, hmm, I will not lose my special, I know that, I just went with the special, so basically, instead of being, like, it's just some like buffs slash yeah just being some buffs to your stats it's like it could act as a direct counter you're like mm, i know that that guy is often running uh respawn punisher so you could be like mm, i'm gonna be running some tactical weapon because it's a counter it basically like we don't have to fight if the sniper is really scary we can just like fight kind of scared and 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 leave the sniper to do its own thing. Don't get it in its range. And whenever we got a tacticaler, now we can go out and kind of fight the sniper because we don't really care because we're not going to be affected by respawn punishers. So that's that's pretty nice. Uh, very good. And then what do we got? Uh, other thing, respawn punisher and hunt effects increase in respawn time and increase in amount of special gauge lost will still occur. Wait. Tacticals, quick respawn, and special saver will no longer be negated by gear abilities of respawn pressure and haunt. Will still occur. Oh, okay. So you wait. Hold on. Wait. No. Okay. So what they mean is that before it was negated. So if someone hits you with a respawn pressure, you would basically get respawn pressure, but also not get the tacticals buffs. Which is kind of weird, but now like you get the tacticals buffs, but you still get respawn punished. But you get respawn punished on top of the buffs, which makes the respawn punish less impactful, I guess. Okay, okay, that's cool. The performance of some gear abilities have been changed. Ninja, oh, ninja squid nerf. Ink splash will no longer be vis invisible for thirty to sixtieth of a second immediately after transforming into squid. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, this is an absolutely bangers change. It means that you can't really, like, be invisible in the middle of a fight. Because if you start swimming... Because, like, usually the good thing about, like, a ninja squid is that if someone gets into their ink while you're fighting them, you can't really know in which direction they started swimming in. Like, you can kind of see it depending on, like which way their body is sta starting moving before they switch into ink form, but it's, it kind of happens like too fast, and then you can't, you can't really keep track of where they're going, or if they maybe like baited you and switched directions while they're in their ink, but here like for half a second, you can still see the ink trail, and it's very, it's very much going to be easier to follow and deal with, so this is actually like very massive and nice. Um, and other stuff. The next update will focus on new features and support and weapon balance for the start of the new season in March. Mm -hmm. The update is planned for the end of the current season. Okay. 
on new features new features mm. what kind of new features mm. probably not the new salmon run modes new features that's like oh <gasps> maybe maybe uh table turf online <laughs> that would be nice that would be a new feature very cool Wait, that's a splatter shot spray. That's that's a heck of a load of spread. Wait, no, that's because you're aiming up. Wait, no, that's a heck of a lot of spread. What are you? Wait, hold on. The reticle isn't even like showing that it's gonna spread that far. Now that's. Wait, okay, no, hold on. Actually, I think I understand what's happening. It's firing two times at a time. It's like you've got, you've got the main shot that fires normally in the center, and then you've got another one that just goes like freaking crazy on all sides, and it helps you like paint on the sides better. But then your your main shot is still very accurate. That's super weird. That's extremely interesting. Interesting and weird and confusing. Interesting nonetheless. Uh, let me go back to uh, the splat below. 